All right, Gun Collector 007 here with just a quick review on a couple of knives that I bought the other night while I uh, was going through a bout of insomnia. And I found these on good old Amazon, like I find most of my knives and stuff. And I figured, why not? So uh, these are uh, what's called swing guard style knives, which I have a fondness for. I have a box of them somewhere, but it was too lazy to go get them for this video. So I'm just going to show these two that I bought. Anyway, these are by a company called Dispatch Knives. Um, I never heard of them before. So they're, they're a, a low-end knife company. And uh, they make a couple of knives, like you'll see here in a second. And they're made in China. And the thing is, they're $18.59 each. So if you're looking for a knock-around knife, uh, you know, an EDC type of knife that you don't care about marring it or scratching it or using it for whatever you want to use it for you can't go wrong for a knife that looks like a really good quality for under 20 bucks so this says warning the product is dangerous tool and should be used properly and utmost of caution when knives not in use store in a safe place blah 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 blah. so it's a dangerous tool well i certainly hope so i don't want a undangerous knife uh and that's it so there's two of them you'll see there's a dark one here which uh, i'm going to put these links below but there you have to click on it when you're if you're on amazon dp 8041 sw is the darker one which i'm seeming to have a fondness for and then there is a a lighter one which is uh dp 8040 sw so uh if you want the lighter one supposedly these are both made out of uh, rosewood so one is a light rosewood and the other one is a dark rosewood so uh let's take a look at these and uh see see what they look like so as you can see they're, they're attractive knives you know again and they have a nice weight to it i'm not sure what the weight is um the overall size of them is uh just over nine inches overall and the blade is 4.3 inches long so check your local uh, municipalities to see if that's legal where you live and uh, like i said so this is the lighter one and it's got all stainless steel on it and uh what i liked about this one uh, this was the first one that i put in my cart so to open it really they say you can do it one-handed and i guess but it's not really meant to do that way i meant to just do that what this was the first one that i put in my cart um i like this one because it's just a very simple classic blade design and it has what i call a blood groove in it um other people call it different things but i like the swing guard so um and this is supposed to be moving like this i read a couple of reviews and they say this moves well that's the idea of that so and it's basically just there to protect your hands like you know an old-fashioned sword would have a swing guard on it but it's a very shiny uh stainless steel with you know a mirror finish uh blade i'm not sure what the steel is it says made in china on the back there and stainless steel bolsters it's got some brass uh, pins in there it's got a little uh, lanyard hole and you know it's it's actually it's it's a sturdy knife it's um the lockup is super fantastic and uh, i like that it's got this little like you see it's like narrow and then it gets fat and then skinny again so uh i like that so that's you know so that's the first one and then after i put that one in the cart i was still looking at this one i'm like well why not for 18 dollars each so then i went with the second one second one again i'm favoring a little bit more i wish it had the blood groove but it doesn't so that looks like a standard clip point design and again it says dispatch on it china but this one has the as you can see the darker um again rosewood or they do say wengewood somewhere in the description whatever that is but uh, now this one if you notice has like this curve on the back so putting them together the first one has got the straight part right here where this one's got this little swirly thing going on so um as far as a fitting in your hand uh it feels a little better to me but whatever you know again both two knives for under 40 bucks and again they're very solid so you want to use them for camping for hunting for fishing whatever you want to do you could do it if you scratch them or, or ruin them you, you you know you could fix them uh you could use this uh new handy dandy smith's uh double-sided uh ceramic uh, uh, sharpener that i just did a review on uh four dollars on amazon too uh you know this is exactly the kind of knife 
that this sharpener was made for. You don't want to use this sharpener on a very expensive knife, but on, on a less expensive budget knife or something like that, um, you know, that's it. It feels pretty um, sharp. Uh, black one feels a little sharper than the lighter one. We'll give that a little test in a second. But to close it, you just push this little back lock on it, get your fingers out of the way, and you, slide, you close that shut. So you just do that right there and close it shut right there. So that's it. So let's just give it a quick, uh, just do a quick paper test on it. I'm not going to do any uh, elaborate test on it. This one is a little more uh, play on the swing guard than this one. You know, this one has a little bit of play because it's just, it's just got these rivets that holds it. But again, that's what it's supposed to do. Just keep your, your fingers there. But I like it. It's a good size. And again, if it's legal to carry where you live, because a lot of places are four inches or less. And this is, like I said, over four inches. So just be careful. Uh, don't blame me if you get in trouble. So what do I know? Anyway, so let's just do a little quick uh, paper test. Well, yeah, like I said, it felt pretty sharp. I don't know how long the uh, edge will last on it, but for 18 bucks, I mean, that's not bad at all. Same thing on this one. So very, very sharp. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's amazing what you find on Amazon. And by the way, there is another company out there. I won't put the name. It's on Amazon. They are selling the exact same knife for $36. So uh, if you want this knife, definitely... Um, you know, follow the link that I have in the description. I am an Amazon associate, so I'll make like 0.07 cents on it if you buy one of these. Thank you so much. Uh, but no, seriously, you you want you want the price of eighteen dollars and fifty nine cents if you want one of these, not thirty six bucks. So anyway, just a quick review. I think uh, you know budget knives or what do they call them? Uh, value knives or deep value, whatever whatever you want. I think uh, you know it's a nice style and it'll go into my collection. And I really got to stop buying knives. I have a lot of gun videos coming up. Uh, I haven't done many gun videos recently, but I do have a bunch coming up. I have some more giveaways coming up. So, uh, you know, we're going to go into 2023 strong and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, keep adding to the channel. And as always, appreciate all my subscribers for watching and sticking with me all this time. All right. So thanks very much. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care.